You're going to do whatever it takes to get back out on the field. Blaine Gauthier, the raging Cajun QB, heaves in long for Ladarius Green, and he makes That's what a great call. That's how you want to start a game. Your best player is Ladarius Green. Get him the ball early and often. Offensive coordinator Jay Johnson said 8 to 12. Beginning of this, and here's the pass interference. With some air on the ball, let your six foot six tight end, who's got tremendous hands, does not let the ball get to his body. In fact, even through contact, is ripping. Love that. That's the way to begin your first bowl game in 41 years. 44 yard completion, and then Goch to begin the drive. Play action. Goch fires incomplete. But when a guy comes that open, he can draw two penalty flags. Goche stepping up, incomplete, intended for Ladera. I, I would think so. I would think so, exactly. We've been we've been told that uh, Greg Stewart, defensive coordinator, may end up with uh, the first team all cornerback. Lane Goche, the junior quarterback, tosses, and this is Harris tossing down, field and incomplete. Call with a true freshman up. Here, 10 in the second quarter. I love the thought of getting the ball to your playmaker. Green is your All-American tight end. At the next time. Difficult snap handled by Goche. Harris picks up the this year and what he's done with a team that was three and nine a year ago. That's Brad McGuire. Aztecs bring the blitz. Goche this right now being very aggressive. First down, Goche to the air. Putting the Raging Cajuns on the doorstep of the end zone once again. Goche handing off Harris. Play action. Goche is going to heave it. Intercepted inside the five. That's day one. You can still be prone to having some mental errors. Goche completing on the bubble screen on. Five defense. You can block him up front. So the Raging Cajuns trying to get to the other 30 instead. It's and which they did in the first half. Blaine Goche, the junior left-handed QB for the Raging Cajuns, tossing on first down to the freshman running back. A lot. Lawson getting it done out of the halftime tunnel. 52-yard pass play. Goche to the air. Get into the end zone. Touchdown. Ladar and how about Ladarius Green, the big six-foot-five-inch tight end and the velocity. I've been raving about Lindley on the other side, throwing into windows. And Lindley, it's nearly six-foot-six, the long arms, the ability to go out and use his hands. That was held by Jake DeLong. Okay. Fires a strike on third down. Complete. It's Ladarius Green going rumbling to the 36. Before Hemmings hangs on to bring him down, Goche delivers a bullet. Offensive coordinator Jay Johnson said eight to 12 touches for his six foot six inch tight end. And it's feel. These seam routes, that's a seam route on paper. And it looks like a straight line, but a tight end who's played for four years under Corey, the big tight end, has been so active in these situations. He's must haves. Goche on third down. There's Green making the grab and dragging. First down after the penalty, it's first and 15. Goche. Big athletic tight end, knowing you can throw it up, and he'll go get to that rebound. Goche heaves it for that big tight end. Incomplete. Gabe Lemon nearly picked that one off. What do you like to see from San Diego State? Oh, Goche's down on the field. That time, Ladarius plays defender, and look at all of the activity. You have the ability of their tight end, Green, as well as Lawson outside. Look at the ball. This would take a little momentum out. On second and goal, Goche jump ball. Incomplete. No flag? Guess not. Parker and Green get tangled up. Third and goal. And personally, I love this call, this call. I know by the book you say run it for San Diego. Goche right back to Green. There's the fade, it's bad, it's incomplete. Those calls. If I'm a play caller, my philosophy is my best. And a lot of contact there. Green with a terrific night for the Raging Cajuns.
You love to see your best players in their final game that they'll ever play for your program really deliver.